What is up, Dill Nation? It is Dill Lasagna here. And today, we're going to be doing a reaction video to Honest Trailers Beauty and the Beast 2017 by Screen Junkies. Now, I'm not really sure what to expect here, but I this is a uh, Honest Trailer of, yes, Beauty and the Beast, the live action version. And I did watch it. And I don't really have a preference between the original, like, animation and the live-action version. But I'll tell you this. I do love Screen Junkies and their honest trailers. So I hope this is going to be very funny. But also at the same time, very interesting that they point out some really interesting things. So hopefully this is going to be pretty funny. And the original video will be in the description. And go check out Screen Junkies. Their channel will be in the description as well. And without any further ado... Let's do this reaction video. Oh, they changed their uh, intro. Nice. You remember the tale as old as 1991. Now, experience it all over again with CGI and celebrities. <laughs> True. As Disney reminds us it's not about how you look, it's what's on the inside of your wallet that counts. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast, again. After the Jungle Book used live action to improve on their animated classic, Disney's using live action to just copy their animated classic and see if anyone notices. So true. Who cares? Turns out, they don't. <laughs> In an empty spectacle that reminds you how good the original was and shows you how creepy the original would be if it were real. Mom said I wasn't supposed to move. Ugh. <laughs> That's insane editing, though. To the Britishest part of France. I can't remember what. <laughs> Crazy old Maurice. Giving her a sprint in the East Wing. And meet Belle, a beautiful book lover who falls in love with an ugly dude. So, Hermione? Emma Watson turned down an Oscar-winning role in La La Land for this, but she deserves. You know, I, I wonder how Emma Watson would do in La La Land, and how Emma Stone would do in this movie. It's, I know it's just random, but it's like, imagine, just imagine. Oscar for not laughing every time Dan Stevens showed up in his mocap suit. Watch what? him inhabit this strong female role model who isn't afraid to invent her own washing machine. <laughs> What's he doing? The laundry. And doesn't need a man to help her express herself, unless that man's name is Auto Tune. Easy to remember. Auto. Really? You get it. But it's not all a rehash of the original. There's several new tiny crumbs of movie to pick over. Like, superfluous backstory, wandering around the woods, <laughs> diversity, and the plague. Kids love the plague. That's so but fucked up. a new Oscar baiting song that will have you wondering if you have enough time to take a pee break. Now I know what? she'll never leave me. <laughs> this sounds. <laughs> oh man, it's like, yeah, uh, that was a new song I remember, but was it really re relevant to the plot? Gaston shines as the aggressive, controlling Harry guy who imprisons Belle's dad, as opposed to the Beast, an aggressive, controlling Harry guy who imprisons Belle's dad. And if you're mad we reused the same joke we made in our original Honest trailer, then you're not one of the millions of Disney fans who defend this glorified rehash. <laughs> Blink and you'll miss the reveal of Disney's first openly gay character, assuming you don't count Prince Eric, as LeFou finally comes out of the closet to piss off everyone. <laughs> because gay people don't want their first character to be a sniveling evil weirdo, while homophobes want the scene to be more gay so they could get really hot and bothered. Seriously? Wait, wait, is that, uh... Is that Jay Bruchel? Or I don't I I don't know. It's like No, 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 no. That's not him. That's not him. My bad. But yeah, that's an interesting like fact that um that they made uh LeFou oh, like gay. That's that's very interesting. It's like I keep forgetting that that fact. That's it. That's the moment they got it banned in Kuwait, Malaysia, and Alabama? <laughs> I've seen gayer stuff for breakfast. 
So be Disney's guest at this timeless tale of how it's your inner beauty that matters. The beauty is found within. Even though Belle is hot, the beast Even is though hot, Belle is hot. The dresser is hot. The librarian is hot. And even the withered oak crone turns out to be <laughs> Everyone's hot. Your inner beauty is what really matters. Your ugly ass is definitely a curse. What? Starring Neswolian, Josh Glad, Fabio, Fabio Emma Stone's favorite Bell, Obi Wan, Ian McLaughlin, and Bell's mom kissed by a rose on the grave. <laughs> Rebooty and the Beast. <laughs> Rebooty and the Beast. Yay! The royal prince is back. But wait, if Gaston had a musket, then this takes place either right before or right after the French Revolution. Uh oh. <laughs> oh wow, that was that was really funny. Anyway, Dill Nation, I hope you guys enjoyed this honest trailer, and that was pretty funny. Um, I don't know if it was as funny as uh, Honest Trailer's previous uh, like videos, like Honest Trailer wise. But it was a good, like, video nonetheless, and, um, it made a lot of good points about this Beauty and the Beast, and how to just, like, use doing all these live-action remakes for money. It's basically, like, I don't know, what they're doing with books or something, and turning it into movies. But anyway, Dill Nation, I hope you guys in- Alright then. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, video, and if you guys did- Give it a like and leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like comment share subscribe and follow me on my instagram it's in the description below and don't forget to check out screen junkies and along with the original video it's in the description as well and always be delicious